Hi, it's Tuesday Birds. Hi, this is going to be one of those videos where I'm fighting with the sun, but I'm not going to complain because we like sun. Okay, so this week is going to be the nerdiest Across One Sky video week to date. Um, you should have seen it coming in fairness, but it's Doctor Who week. Okay, so consider my video mild preparation for Christina's video on Thursday, which is going to be full of TARDIS ship piggy banks and other amazing things. Um, mine's not going to be as full on as that, but I haven't planned this video, so I'm just going to keep talking and we'll see where it goes, and I probably have a lot of editing to do. So here's the thing, I don't like sci-fi at all, um, never have done, and this is the only show that I watch that can be called sci-fi, so I think in this video I'm going to try and figure out why or explain why I love Doctor Who so much. Yes, let's do that. So I started watching Doctor Who about halfway through the Tenant years and then I went back and caught up on everything I'd missed. Um, but as Christina will tell you on Thursday, she is Tenant obsessed and I'm not. I didn't really get into the show that much then, I just kind of watched it if it was on but I didn't really make a point of watching it. And I love David Tennant, I really really love David Tennant. I watch interviews that he's in constantly and I love how much of a Doctor Who nerd he is or was. And I think it's because the cast never really clicked for me then. I never liked David Tennant with Billy Piper. Um, I wasn't really into Catherine Tate in the show. Um, it just, as a cast, I think individually they were all really, really good, but together I just didn't like them. I think Matt Smith's the perfect doctor. Um, I prefer him to David Tennant. Kind of an easy for him to step in after David Tennant because he had such a massive fan base as the doctor, but I much prefer Matt's portrayal as the doctor and Team Matt. Sorry, Christina. Then Karen Gillan, I love her to the point that I want to be her. And Arthur Darvely plays Rory. Um, I love him and everything he does. I'm a big fan of him. So I think together they make the perfect cast. Um, a very young cast, but I like it. I think they work and they work together. Except for River Song. My Twitter and Tumblr feeds were going crazy on Saturday evening after Doctor Who about River Song. Um, so much hate for the woman. So much hate. So I think most people's problem is that she doesn't fit in as a character, she's not necessary and that's not my problem. I don't mind her as a character, I don't think she's vital but you know I do think it could work. My problem with her is she's too old and I'm not being ageist, I like Alex, is her name Alex? I think it's Alex, the woman that plays her, um, she did some hospital program. I like her but I was just talking about how young the cast are and I think such a young cast works and maybe they wouldn't have worked 10 years ago but they work now and she's older and she just, I don't know, I think she would have fitted the show a lot better about 7 years ago but in 2011 she just, I don't know, I don't think she works. Am I making sense? I'm not making sense. I don't know, I just don't think she's the same chemistry as the rest of the cast do and she weirds me out because she's like, I don't know, over 20 years older than Matt Smith is. And don't tell me that they're both time travellers and he's 900 and she could be 600 for all we know because my imagination isn't that good. All I can see is a 28 year old man and a 48 year old woman and that's all my brain can process. I think my favourite episode was the last Christmas special. I think, I don't know, I changed my mind quite frequently but I really loved that and Michael Gambon was in that and I mean it's Dumbledore in Doctor Who, come on you can't really ask for anything more. Also, I think this show is so well filmed. Um, I'm going to put a link to my Tumblr down there because I don't use it that much but I reblogged a lot of photos from Saturday's episode um, of the opening scenes and you probably know the one I'm talking about anyway but it was when they were all standing on the beach and there were the four of them in the line and then the boat was on fire on the water and the pretty mountains in the sky. Um, I don't know, I just think it's so well filmed and the colours and everything. It was just it was a really visually nice episode to watch. Um, and most of them are like that. I think they're very, very well filmed. And also the music. Um, do you remember the scene where Amy, no, Amelia actually, um, when she's sitting on her suitcase waiting on the doctor to come back when they first meet, um, there's the most gorgeous piece of music playing in the background and I can never find what it is or who wrote it. But, but yeah, it's very good whoever writes it. Um, be like me the next time you watch Doctor Who. Don't pay attention to the storyline but appreciate the camera work and listen to the music and then watch it again and keep up to date with what's going on with the aliens and such like. And I think it's a very typically British TV show and it's never really lost that I guess because it is so long running but just the way it's written and the various actors that have been cast over the years I think it's kind of always held on to the roots of just being a very well written British TV show. 
Yeah, so I think I've just told you the main reasons why I like Doctor Who. Um, if you also do, and if you feel the need to comment, please tell me who your favourite Doctor is, and also thoughts on Saturday's episode, and hopefully we can have a nice discussion, and it'll keep us all busy until this Saturday when we get to watch episode 2. Christina, I will see you on Thursday. I think we should all spend tomorrow mentally preparing ourselves for your video, which is just going to be the most David Tennant obsessive video that has ever been made. And yeah.